Here is a quick introduction to evaluating logarithms. So logarithms are asking for exponents. So for log base 2 of 8, we can think of this as 2 to the what equals 8? Well, 2 to the third power is 8. So log base 2 of 8 is 3. Now, what about this one? Log base 5 of 25. Well, we can think of this as 5 to the what equals 25. Well, I know 5 squared is 25. So log base 5 of 25 is 2. Now, what about this one? Well, we can think of this as 4 to the what equals 1 16th, and 4 to the negative 2 equals 1 16th. So log base 4 of 1 16th is negative 2. Now, here's something to note. These two forms are equivalent to each other, and a lot of the time, it's easier to think about these problems in exponential form, kind of like what we did over here. For example, for the first problem, we thought of this as 2 to the what equals 8. 2 to the what equals 8. Now, you may run into a logarithm where it looks like it doesn't have a base. When that happens, we can assume that the base is 10. So 10 to the what equals 1,000? Well, 10 to the third power equals 1,000. And when you run into an ln, this means natural log. And the natural logarithm has a base of e. So we can think of this as log base e of e. So e to the what equals e? Well, 1. So the natural log of e is 1. All right, so let's practice. All of these have the same final answer. Pause here and think about them. If you said zero for all of these, you are correct, because a non-zero raised to the zero is one. So there you have it, a quick introduction to evaluating logarithms. If you want more practice, pause here and try these out.